Hello, hello again to another Aga Kalerriat. And on the 6th January 1975, on NBC TV debuted the Wheel of Fortune. I think everyone knows what the Wheel of Fortune is. I know it from the Polish version. And uh, I'm pretty sure someone at some stage of their life actually watched it. So I'm going to watch Top 10 Cringest Wheel of Fortune fa Fails from WatchMojo.com. Let's just get into it and let's see how cringy they can get. No amount of vowels can make these fails any better. Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cringiest Wheel of Fortune. <coughs> Regis Philman and Kelly Ripa. No, that is not correct. That means we're looking at all awkward instances. I probably won't get most of them because, you know. We're basing our choices on a mix of obvious answers, baffling decisions, and pronunciations that just sound weird. All right, let's spin the wheel. Number 10, Bridal and Gold Shower. To say this guest took the audience by surprise is an understatement. Contestant Melanie was one letter away from solving a puzzle in the same name category. To many, the answer Bridals. would have been obvious. I'd like to solve. Okay. Bridal and gold shower. Unfortunately for Melanie, it was not. The correct answer was actually bridal and cold shower. I'd like to solve. Okay. Bridal and cold shower. Yeah, that's. Uh, that's... Interestingly enough, it turns out that a gold I, shower is actually a real thing. Uh, also known as a golden shower, the term refers to a particular fetish that we don't even want to begin explaining. Yeah. Most Pat Sajak has Although, heard his how are you supposed to know? Well, well, how is that the same name? Bridal and dumbfounded. Cold uh, bridal shower, cold shower, baby Ever shower. Oh, okay. Losing my shore excursion. M. Yes, there is an M. After a long back and forth on a regular clue, Rachel had only two letters missing. As the question was, what are you doing? The answer was supposed to be booking. Rachel booking. appeared to get too into the vacation <laughs> theme of the puzzle and went in a more intoxicated direction. I'd like to solve the puzzle. Okay. Boozing my shore excursion. No. The mistake was brutal as it could have been the answer. But it was worse uh, to watch since it gave her competitors only one possible solution. Yeah. Booking my shore excursion. Yeah, that's it. Plus, the fact that this was a prize puzzle only made her loss more cringe-inducing. Since Aww. Wheel of Fortune has stayed away from less PG answers like Rachel's, the alcoholic choice played off like a bad Freudian slip. Number 8. Three mistakes. Kevin was constantly in the right position during each puzzle for his run on Wheel of Fortune. Elevate when he should have said that elevated, he dropped a sentence that train. made no sense instead. Elevator train platform. That is not correct. This honest slip up gave his opponent the obvious answer they needed. Kevin sadly flopped on dancing, even when the letters didn't add up. Dancing oh, like on Go ahead. Air Jordan. On Air Jordan. No, that was not. <laughs> But it was his third incorrect guess on a butterscotch treat that would cement the tragedy. Did he say butterscotch? And then you'll have three seconds to solve this puzzle. Butterscotch. No. He gave all his puzzles away just when they were in reach. Cookies. Worse, he always cleared up after Cookies. ultimate guesses. Together, this triple shot added up to a run so bad that Pat Sajak had to joke about it. Well, the good news is we won eight thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. The bad news is we're giving it to Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, fish love. For a quick toss-up, Edgar was faced with a puzzle that was supposed to say wish list, but Edgar threw a curveball when he gave a more aquatic answer. Edgar, fish love. Though the letters could have worked. <laughs> Sajak wasn't going to poke some fun at him either. You know, sometimes the acoustics are here are bad. I thought I heard you say fish love. <laughs> he made it to the final puzzle and well, nice. an extra $30,000. To top it off, the producers gave Edgar one final laugh when they threw fish love back on the board. Edgar left the producers with classic material by simply ignoring the common phrases the game usually featured. We like you so much, we have a special prize for you. There it is. Right <laughs> <laughs> Six, a group of pill pushers. Wheel of Fortune is a family friendly show, though Joe seemed to forget that when he focused his guess on narcotics. A group of pill pushers? 
<laughs> what is that? So against the show's prime time restrictions. Well, it's a bill pusher. Jack immediately scolds him for it. This is wheel of fortune, Joe. It was more painful since Joe had just confirmed the two peas he would have needed weren't there. His opponent hysterically messed up too, though admittedly uh, to a less There's a pea right there. A group of wheel wishes. <laughs> and the added irony that the actual answer was about well wishers was just too rich to ignore. At least Joe was embarrassed quickly enough to acknowledge his error. Number five, I Have the Wine by Johnny Cash. When Natasha put a J on the board, it was pretty clear that her musical clue was about Johnny Cash. The sound was apparently less obvious, as she added drinks to the title instead. I Have the Wine by Johnny Cash. Natasha's flub looked bad considering. I Walked the Line by Johnny Cash. One of his most famous tracks. Besides, Must have been before the movie came out. Needed were already out of play in the puzzle. Sadly, Natasha also slipped up during a jackpot spin, oh. which would have earned her nine thousand dollars. Honestly, I haven't seen Wheel of Fortune in Natasha's years. Natasha's bizarre response made such a great parody title, however, that fans have remade the song in her honor. Number four, Self Potato. What? Lisa Macaulay buzzed in for a toss-up, and all she had to say was "self portrait." Her actual answer was much more starchy, and she created a wacky new sentence on the fly. Lolita! Oh, self potato? Sorry. No. <laughs> Lolita was so evidently embarrassed that she apologized immediately, and she laughably <sighs> joked about walking off the show to save face. Don't you worry about it. And believe me, that's not even the top ten of things that have come out of people's mouths. Self potato was so unusual that Pat Sajak and the other contestants were still laughing as the puzzle wrapped up. I was so distracted by a side dish, I... <laughs> Polly later said that she knew the answer, but the adrenaline of buzzing in on a toss-up... Uh, back then, that was called self-portrait, now so it's a selfie. While she lost the money, Lolita did give audiences an iconic wheel fail. Number three, Venice. Gondola Paris. ride right. through Venice. Gondola ride through Venice! Yeah! David and Carrie had spelled out their prize puzzle and won, with Venice mentioned in the clue. So when Pat Sajak asked them what country their trip was to, it was weird to hear a city, let alone a French one. What country do you think we're sending you to? Paris. Though the crowd was still laughing, they <laughs> followed up the country. <laughs> France. The brain lock looked so awkward that Carrie worriedly asked if they still got the vacation. After the mounting comedy, it was satisfying to finally hear Italy. <sighs> Plus, it was just too perfect that Sajak quizzed the one couple who didn't know about Venice. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, Magic Jand. Zach's run on a college episode of Wheel got into the final puzzle, where he guessed all Dang. the right letters. It was just enough to leave him unsure what his magic item was, however. Land? So he went through the no. whole alphabet. Jan, sand, van, can, jan, pan, van, 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 wand, oh! Since the raw oh. sound was stuck in his brain, he managed to try magic jand of all things. It was unbearably difficult to swallow when he finally got wand, but the buzzer had already gone off. I, and looks so yeah, I'm Andy. So, I, I'm so, you had that sound in your <laughs> mind. I'm sorry you fooled me with that one. The pressure got the best of Zach, and the regret was all over his face. Aww. If only he'd started at the end of the alphabet instead. Well, on the one hand, you have uh, there's consolation. On the other hand, he won nineteen thousand nine hundred fifty dollars. I don't know. I've been thinking magic land or magic wand. I've giggled my way through one too many game show fails lists, but I love these so much. And I can really relate to that last one, and I cannot even imagine how bad he must have felt getting it Star right no. after the buzzer. Anyway, our number one, well, it's embarrassing. So let's look through the honorable mentions, and then we'll see what our most cringy Wheel of Fortune moment is. Oh, you're out of it now for the ladies? Only uh, okay, child. Linda. An ugly child? <laughs> no, a dance. <laughs> Superman and Spider Woman. No, that's what? Wonder Woman. Lewis <laughs> Philbin and Kelly Ripa. <laughs> no. Uh, George, you want to try to try and solve a path? Yeah. Regis Philbin and Kelly Ripa. There you go. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, mythological hero Achilles. Let's spin, Pat. <laughs> 
Napoleon laid out every letter on the board and had set himself up with several thousand dollars. Sadly, he didn't seem to know how to say Achilles and oh. read the word phonetically. I saw. Oh, well, that'd be a good idea, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Nicholas, man. Hero Achilles. Uh, you actually have to pronounce it right in English, huh? Since he ruined Aww. the pronunciation, the rule stated that he was wrong. This technicality has been used so rarely, so it was just devastating that it happened to someone who already spelled out the answer. On top of all the money lost, Julian also missed out on a chance to play his million dollar wedge. And his opponent earned so little on winning in his place that they had to bump her prize up to a thousand dollars. The lesson Aww. here was definitely learn your pronunciation. It just go with the name and I even though the letters are up there. I watched that episode when it aired and it was just like oof. Also, kind of a bad ad for that guy's college. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh which wheel True. moment do you think is the cringiest? Let us know in the huh. comments, or come tell me on my YouTube channel, or on Twitter or Instagram at Rebecca Brayton. Also, please watch this other video. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that was funny, obviously. Kinda cringy as well. I thought it would be more cringy. But, yeah, the... Well, I probably wouldn't win as well, because I would probably be so stressed I would say it in Polish, and it's Achilles. Not Achilles. Is it Achilles? Yeah, you see guys? You see what I'm talking about? Not being English speaker and stuff? But yeah. I have to look out in something. Sometimes the spellings of the words are just not making sense to my brain. Anyway, that was funny. Did you uh, ever watch uh, Wheel of Fortune? What do you think about this list? Because that was kind of interesting. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!